Okay. So we've got, what, what's the name of this one, this meal? Ban chang phoi soup. So it's, it's really delicious. It's a beef. It's a beef here. And then I take a lettuce. I take a cucumber. I take carrots. I add them all in. There's also a soup here. It's a pig foot soup, which is really delicious. It's one of my favorite things to have. Um, so let me start by just building you one of these, these little rice papers. So I'll discuss how these rice papers are made in, in upcoming in, in about five minutes. So you don't have to worry about how they're made. So camera woman, could you get a little closer, please? Come on. So get close to what my hands are doing. Mm. Yeah. I got a director, people. She doesn't quite know exactly. I keep trying to get her to watch Eric <laughs> Surf 6 because I don't know if you've ever seen his channel. I'll put a link to his channel too, but he does really good food vlogs. He lives in Japan. He's got two kids and a Japanese wife, and he's been YouTubing since the beginning. So I took a piece of lettuce. I took a green onion. I took a piece of beef. Nice little fat strip around it. I'm going to take a lime. I really like the limey flavor. This is a fish sauce with pineapple and garlic in it. It's very delicious. It's my favorite fish sauce besides the the Dilat fish sauce. What's in that Dilat fish sauce with the little meatballs in it? That's my favorite fish sauce in all of Vietnam. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, the meatball soup. It's like a, a sauce though, remember? We, we it's did... made from the to uh, tomato soup. Tomato? Yeah. That's why I love it. So I'm a big tomato fan. I'm sure we've seen that by now by watching all my this. My mom cooked that really good. Really? Yeah. Have her make it. Her mom is a really good cook. So we've got noodle, we got bean sprout, we got two different kinds of carrot, white and regular carrot. We've got beef and we've got lettuce. I don't like these vegetables over here that much. They're not my favorite, so you won't see me use them. And then we're gonna roll it up like a joint, just like a joint. So you're gonna get that nice roll going. So you look at that, and you go, just like a duver. There we go. Now it's all ready to go. So I like to dip it right into the fish sauce. I get a bunch in there. I really like this fish sauce. Oh, mmm, mmm, mmm. Super solid. Definitely an 8-8 eight, eight all day long. So, did you try this sauce? <laughs> I couldn't figure out what it was. So this meal is about 12 bucks. Let's try. I'm gonna try the this noodle too. Fish sauce. Mm. So this is the the uh, the pork pork foot soup. It's like an udon noodle. Let me show you. It's, but it's not the rice. Quite an udon noodle. Mm. It's better than an udon noodle. Because it's not as thick. And then this would be the, the pork inside of the pork butt. I would say, mm, mm, mm. you can eat almost all the tendons and everything. They've cooked that for at least, because I've cooked pickle a couple times, you can cook at least a day or two to get it this tender. It's absolutely delicious. Let me uh, take one more bite of this and then I'll actually mm. pull up the other foot and take a nice big chunk for you. Mm. So a little background on me. I've been using chopsticks since I've been 16. I'm really good with chopstick, but this is still super hard to pick up with. I took Nihongo Japanese when I was in high school, so I'm not fluent in Japanese, but I'm very good at Japanese, and I can talk to anybody Japanese and carry a conversation, introduce myself, and, and understand what they're talking about. It's kind of the same in Vietnam. I can understand, but I can't talk back. Oh, so look at this. She's just It just breaks right off the, the foot. Mm, it's so good. So tender. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. So we're going to get into the video with me and Wynn together. See you in a second. Peace. Xin chào. Xin chào. Okay, so we're eating super traditional Viet food for dinner. It looks like a lot of food. It's actually pretty healthy. It's mainly vegetables. What is this? Beef? Beef. Beef. And then this is cow hand. Cow, cow foot, pork foot, pork. pig foot, pig, yeah. <laughs> pig, pig foot in like a udon style noodle. Mm. This is like a, a what are they? What's this official name of this in Vietnam? Ban chang phơi su. Yeah. Mm. So, Ban chang means rice paper. Phơi su means uh, the the 
rub. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So the way that this rice paper gets soft is uh, they take the like rice slurry and they cook it and then they dry it. And then someone, I don't know how long ago, accidentally left it on grass overnight and the dew from the grass absorbed into the paper and they made it soft and like pliable like this. So that's where this paper came from. Uh, it's really delicious, delicious dish. Uh, it's one of my favorite things to eat in Vietnam. Um, I don't use too many of these over here. It's not my, my thing. I like the lettuce. There's some carrot. Oh, I'm not the hot pepper. Carrot, I don't, what, what are these? What is this, radish? Um, the white carrot. White carrot. The red and the white carrot. Oh, okay. yeah. And then you got bean sprouts. I like bean sprouts, because I'm from California. Come on now. And then we take a piece of the beef. Stop that. Let's pick it up with my hand. Separate the beef like that. And then you can take a little bit of noodle. Put the noodle in. And you create like a little spring roll. Um, like I said, I don't use many, many of those. That's more, a little bit of lime on here. Um, then they have a, ah, stop saying uh, that's my biggest thing is not say um anymore. So this is pineapple you said in here? Yep. Pineapple, garlic, and something else. What's this one? I've never seen this one. I'm not having to try it. We don't know. Mm. Okay. Then you wrap it and you roll it like a joint. This one they make from the fish. The fish. Oh. Uh, it doesn't taste like a fish. So you wrap, wrap it like a joint, dip it right in here. This vegetable is from forest. Forest? Mm. Forest vegetable. Forest. Mm. So it's not from the farm. Special vegetable you cannot find from, from the farm. Actually, I like this one. Wait, what? Try it. Mm. <laughs> it's too strong. The flavor was. Those greens take over the whole thing and I can't taste the meat or anything anymore. Which is pretty good. I give this a 8.8. Mm. See, she's putting a bunch of shit in her. <laughs> That's why my run also way bigger than him. Really big. Yeah, I just used half the, Oh, that's strong. What's that, big stuff? Super strong. Holy shit. I don't think you like this one. It's fishy. This one I like. I don't taste fish in that one. This one's, I don't know, that's strong. I forgot to put cucumber in. You put cucumber in too. But these make you super full. They're super tasty. Let me switch this out for the pigfoot soup. Mmm. Very udon like noodle. What's this noodle called here? Mmm. We call bánh canh bánh canh tráng bàn. Tráng bàn is the the special province. <laughs> the special area. Oh. Tráng bàn Tây Ninh. Technical error. Sorry, people. It's it's what uh it's come from tráng bàn Tây Ninh. So we call this bánh canh tráng bàn. Technical. I'm just gonna go in with my hands, everybody. Don't hate. Mm. I love a pig foot. They cook it long enough. Mm. I put everything. It all just roll. falls off. Yeah, she puts all of it in. Mmm. <laughs> pig foot, eight point eight, all day long. Mmm. I'd say they'd have to cook this a day or two to get this this tender like this. It's so good. Mm. Mm. Very delicious. If you've never had like this this pig foot here in uh, Vietnam, go for it. You gotta be adventurous when you eat here. Try everything. You don't know until you try. Mm. So we have two different sauces: mm. the yellow fish sauce and the the, the black fish sauce. Mm. <laughs> what do you I mean? like the yellow one. What's I've never had the black one. There! This one! 
Oh, well, I like the black one. <laughs> a lot better than the other one. Hmm. You can move the camera closer here. Yeah, we'll move it closer. You're going to move some, some uh, close up shots after you have your first roll. Mm. So, they've lifted the social distancing here. They haven't opened any bars or any like mass gathering things, just restaurants. Today, thousands of people were at a closed beach. Still, what's the name of that beach? Hmm? What's the name of the beach? Yeah. Thousands, like 4,000 people went there, just jumped over the barricade. Which it's the nearest. Uh, from Ho Chi Minh City. Yeah, oh, most of them were from Ho Chi Minh City, I read in the article. Because mm. you can track the license plate to where it's from. Mm. Boy, the pig foot. The soup's delicious. They're, they're famous for their soup, right? I've shot a vlog here before. The name of the, the restaurant? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, the tendons and all the stuff in there, once it's all... Cooked down is absolutely delicious, everybody. Mm. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Let's see how many, let's see how long the fast went. 23 hours and 20 minutes, we made it on the fast today. So, we need to end the fast. Are you sure you want to end the fast? Yes. So for the last five hours, I've been in fat burning mode, where it just burns fat, because I've been in ketosis. And I ran today for 35 minutes in 100 degree weather while the sun was out. This rice paper, uh, soft and a little bit soft, salty. Yeah. I'll have another one. And then I'll have her get up close and film. But yeah, it's very good, right? You, this is one of your favorite dishes too, right? Yep. Ooh, I can use that. Yeah, this will be fine for me. He, he can use the small one because he doesn't use a lot of vegetables. I had to use the big one. The beef in there, we'll get some cucumber in here, some of the carrots in here, get a piece of lettuce up in here, do a little bit of the lime again. The lime adds a nice little kick of flavor in it. I love lime. That's why I like pho so much. Is uh, they, they use a lot of lime in their pho here. I don't know if that's everywhere in Vietnam. What do they do? They use lime in Hanoi too in the pho. Pho? Yeah. It de depends on the taste of the people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For me, I never use the lime. Yeah, you never use the lime. Yeah. I know this. So you go. Roll it up like a joint again. You can put whatever you want. I mean, some of this stuff's okay. I want to say there's mint in there. I want to say there's lavender in there. It's like too flowery a taste for me. I don't like mint anyways. I never have, so I never put mint in the recipe when it calls for it. I don't like things that too much overpower what I'm trying to do. Mmm. Man. So good. She's having a sting. I've got a Coca-Cola and a water over here. They really like their sting in uh, Ho Chi Minh City here. Most of the women usually drink sting. It's <laughs> not the... <laughs> Kid, yeah. Young adult. It's terrible. It tastes like pure sugar. Everybody's going to have diabetes here in 10 years because sugar's used in everything in Ho Chi Minh. Mm. Mm. This thing they have too tough. The Thailand, the import from Thailand is the not good. The ginseng one. Oh, yeah. it's not good. I don't like that. This one better. The cheap one there. I like the yellow one. It's not as sweet. I think that's what you were talking about, right? The yellow versus the red. No. Um, the silver color. It's mm. called uh, Thailand pink. Mm. I haven't had that. Mm. Yeah, the foot is delicious. You wouldn't think so, but I imagine it takes a whole day to get it, get it to this way, to where you can eat everything off of it. In Dalat, <coughs> they had a uh, a lot of these everywhere. This one, this one, Dalat, 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 Dalat lettuce. lettuce yeah. It's like an iceberg lettuce, yeah, which I like best because I'm from the Midwest. I like the pork better than the beef. What about you? 
I like both. Yeah, they're pretty similar. To be yeah, honest similar. With you. I I didn't recognize anything different. So yeah, they've relaxed the social distancing. A lot of people have been going out. The coffee shops are packed. Everyone's immediately going out. <clears throat> I'm not on that boat. I'm gonna still wait like another week. Now, the second they open a bar, I will go and vlog it, like the second view vein opens, just to show you guys what it looks like. But I won't be going out to do anything until I know for sure that they haven't had cases for a while. But they're doing a pretty good job. They're still, they still want to do two meters apart, all that stuff. It doesn't seem to really be that way, though. I went by a couple coffee shops, and they were just absolutely packed. People sitting right next to each other, no masks on. This one, the moss flame breast. But it's fishy. Not much people like this. Oh, 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 oh. I told you. <laughs> it does taste like a fish. Oh, yeah. that's, that's terrible, people. It's good for the woman. Oh, <laughs> fucking disgusting. Oh. I like a green onion, so let's try it with a little green onion on here this time. More of the carrots, more of cucumber, more of the greens. So we're gonna do a live Q and A soon. I was gonna do it this weekend, but I was I forgot to post the date and time during the week so I could have everybody time to prep. So get ready for that. We'll do an hour or so. You can just ask us anything you want. More like an AMA. I went to Boye even to check to see how that's opening. They they shut that down. That's still not even close to opening. I'd say maybe mid May, early May. We'll have to see how they how they do that. So again, roll it like a duber. Get that girl sealed up. You know, you don't need to do that. <laughs> The people in America. I didn't do that. So it's also stick. Yeah, people in America will, will laugh. They know what I'm doing. Huh? What are you doing? That's how you roll a joint. Marijuana. Our neighbors are potheads here. They're from California. They smoke weed like all day. I can smell it all the time. It doesn't come in the apartment, thankfully, because I don't smoke weed anymore, so that would annoy the shit out of me. But when you leave and walk outside, it's like a skunk is dead outside in the hallway. Cannabis is very popular here now. You can get good cannabis. Some guy in the elevator over there spoke English well, and he's like, I just got some weed. And he pulled out like a pretty nice looking bag of weed. And he's like, I'm going to go get high now. Mmm. Really good. So where do you give it? Scale wise. Scale? Mm-hmm. Nine. Nine point one. Nine point mm -hmm. one. Okay. It's a pretty so we got if we wouldn't have got the soup, it would have only been about eight dollars, but with the soup, because we got the more expensive one. This the, one? Yeah. This was like eighty K. Oh, mm -hmm. right. maybe pay for a dollar? No. Right, close, like three dollars. Mm -hmm. So the whole meal was around twelve dollars. Which isn't bad for how much like they gave us enough vegetables to feed a family of <laughs> ten. And the reason why they're giving so many you don't get this many vegetables usually normally when you go. If you want to go back and watch my first vlog of this place, I go there and I eat the same thing and describe the same thing. Um you'll see they don't give as much, but Right now, the problem in Vietnam is they used to export a lot of their vegetables, and now they're not doing that. So they either give it a, you know, a bunch, or it just goes bad, and they're throwing it away anyway. So it's, how, what do you think about the soup? It's good. You don't like the knuckle, right? Mm, no. no. Too much fat. I like the skin. That. I don't like the skin. Uh -huh. These noodles are almost better than the udon noodle because they're not stiff, so you can eat more of them. If you've never tried fasting and you want to try like keto, um, you don't need to follow any rules for one with keto and fasting properly. I, there's so much misinformation on keto of like, you can't have carbs, you can't do this. Last night I had pizza and I'm still in full keto. 
But the, the trick is you eat one time, you eat one meal a day, and you usually go 20 to 24 hours without food. So then it automatically kicks your body into ketosis, even if you had carbs or not. You don't have to follow all these crazy things. In fact, like every time I lose weight and large chunks of weight, I do this keto diet with the intermittent fasting and I eat whatever the fuck I want. Like I'll have a McDonald's Big Mac for my meal, I'll have a pizza, or sometimes like we've been eating healthy lately because I want to eat greens, you know, because of the virus and make sure my immune system's strong and all that. Another thing a lot of people don't know about fasting, excuse me, is if you go 72 hours, which I'll be doing Monday through to Wednesday this week, I won't eat Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday, at the 72 hour mark, your body starts to produce everything that can kill a virus. It flushes out all the bad stuff and it literally produces all the stuff to kill anything bad in your body, viruses, all, starts to regenerate your body, starts to completely heal it. So it's a really good way to strengthen your immune system. And if you don't believe me, you can look it all up. It's all scientifically proven. I use a really good app. I'll, I'll put the name of the app in the description so it can trace along and follow everything. Um, if you drink, I don't have to drink as much. In fact, I just haven't drank as much. I used to drink quite a bit of vodka every night. Now I can have like two or three drinks of vodka and I'm great. So it benefits you in all areas pretty much. What is, so that's not a, a, a green onion, right? This is this what, one, no. It's like grass, right? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to call it in English. So I might have grazed over the rice paper thing pretty pretty fast, but yeah, it was an accident that they found out how to make the rice paper mushy by leaving it on the grass outside on accident, and the dew the dew on the top of the grass blades in the morning made it soft, and then they figured out from there that they could make a soft because this would normally be hard like rock hard and you couldn't, you wouldn't be able to bend it or anything, right? Yeah. yeah. I, mean, I think we should do the, 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 the close camera yeah, at mean, the beginning. Well, we can. But after. Yeah, but we should yet. talk about it now. <laughs> it's okay. Well, well, <laughs> well, I'll have you cut now and then come back in on the close end. <laughs> Behind the scenes, people, and I'll leave this in and not edit it out, but yeah. I'm going to have her come close in while I make one and all that stuff. But overall, like, I give this place a 8.8 .8 altogether. What, what do you Number give it? Number 9.1. She gives it a 9.1. What do you give your sting? Uh-huh. What do you give your sting? What's your rating of sting? Sting? Yeah. Oh, it's my famous one in Adelaide. <laughs> Cost 10. <laughs> Experience every day. I cannot live without sting. I told her she got to cut this bad sting habit out, but... She wants diabetes. So, we thank you for watching. We shot in 4K today on OnePlus 7 Pro. Um, the OnePlus 8s are out. I won't be getting a new phone or anything because, of course, we're saving money. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Tell your friends. Give to the Patreon if you can. Stay healthy. Stay safe. Most of all, watch the video all the way through. Tell your friends. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe. Hit the bell. Stuff like that really helps if you can't give to the Patreon. Uh, thanks, Thomas, for contributing to the Patreon. You're the, our newest guy. You've been a long-time watcher. I appreciate you kicking in on the Patreon. And as far as the Patreon goes, you can give whatever you want. You don't have to give a bunch of money. If you've only got a dollar to give per month because times are hard right now, that's great. If I had a 1,000 people giving a dollar a month, then it would take care of pretty much all of my bills, and I wouldn't have to worry, and then I could go and shoot footage and all that stuff. So thanks for watching. Stay safe. Stay frosty. Down to be at. Damn it.